FAU 43, Charlotte 13. Nikosi Perry in this one, 16 out of 22, 256 yards and one touchdown. Uh, you did have uh, the running back, uh, McCommon, um, 14 carries and 118 yards, one touchdown here. Uh, Chris Reynolds went out for Charlotte. He is the quarterback for the 49ers. He went out in this game in the second quarter, and that is when it all happened. I mean, it was brutal from that point on. 33 straight points for FAU, and this game got out of hand quick. When the backup quarterback for Charlotte came in, I want to say it was Fisher. Uh, I might be wrong about that. You guys correct me in the comments. But once he came in, it just did not gel, and that just inexcusable uh, pass interception for a touchdown return in, at the end of the second quarter uh, just blew this game open. I mean, there was there was nothing that they could do from that point on. Uh, looking at the overall stats, I mean, yards per play, uh, basically everything was favoring FAU in this spot. And, I mean, they owned it. They absolutely did. They had one defensive touchdown. That certainly changed things around. Uh, they were 100% on fourth down. They tried it twice, and they got both of them. Third down tries, they were 8 of 16, while Charlotte, on the other hand, got only 18% of theirs. Uh, they tried 11 third downs. Charlotte had two turnovers. Uh, FAU, 484 total yards to only 336 at 7.01 yards per play to only 6.59. I say only 6.59. That's still pretty good. It's just that they didn't have the ball as much. Hence <laughs> the only 336 total yards here. Uh, but looking over at game on paper, I mean, just uh, not what you would have expected from Charlotte. You know, there were a lot of people that were talking about FAU secondary and them being new and not super experienced, and some of the guys are a little bit shorter. But I will tell you that they kind of held their own in this game. That, yes, they gave up a big play early to Grant Dubos very early. And there were certainly some plays that they would wish that they had back, but they, they didn't really break much. They didn't give up huge burner plays over and over again like I was worried that they might. And FAU just dominated this game. Uh, I mean, absolutely dominated the game when you look at it. Uh, successful plays, FAU had 21. Charlotte only had 14. Uh, when rushing, FAU had 11 successful plays rushing and only three to Charlotte. I, I mean, just really, really crazy when you look at it. Uh, the total EPA here, you know, for uh, for offensive EPA, 2.84 for FAU, and it was negative 7.72 for Charlotte. I mean, this was really not what you would have expected out of a Will Healy team early on. You, you would hope that they would be a little bit better. Uh, but is what it is. Uh, it's Foster, by the way, not Fisher. That's the, <laughs> that's the backup quarterback's name, uh, James Foster. So, yeah, uh, just brutal, not good, et cetera, et cetera. So just, uh, just tough. Uh, Tucker and Dubos, et cetera. Uh, Bird was was also, you know, decent. But, oh, Charlotte just got demolished in this game. And, uh, and if you were watching the Bet U.S. College Football Show, you would have heard me give this out last week for sure. So, yeah, that was a rough, rough game for Charlotte in that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.